What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss an upcoming title fight, UFC 300. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and to help the channel grow. All right, guys, this Saturday, we got Zhang Wei Li defending her belt against Yan Yao Nan in the co main event, UFC 300, and a great fight. China versus China, something that we really have never seen before. So I think that's a really cool matchup. You have two ladies of the same country going at it. That's not really from America, so I think that's pretty cool for the belt to see who's the true Chinese champion. You got Wei Li, man, who is just a dynamite of a fighter. You got Yan Yao Nan, who's got great hands, great boxing, good power, good size for the weight class. Has progressed each and every time she's gone out. But it's hard for me to bet against Wei Li, right? If she's not fighting Rose Namajunas, it's almost hard, it's almost impossible for me to not go for Zhang in this fight. Like Zhang Wei Li, she's looked good against everybody, right? Amanda Lemos, Carla Esparza, Joanna, both fights. The first fight was close, but the second fight, she was able to put her away with that spinning back fist. Her only blemishes, man, Rose Namajunas in the UFC. She's just pressure. Dynamite, what she did to Jessica Andrade. Her fight against Tisha Torres. I mean, she just goes out there and she just outclasses these girls. She outpaces these girls. Great clinch work. She's got great tie clinch. And I think that's going to be her biggest weapon in the fight against Yan. Yan, she's going to want to go out there, put on the pressure, and utilize good boxing, good power, good counter striking. But I think that Zhang, I think that her tie clinch is going to be the big difference maker in this fight. Her knees in that tie clinch. She is really able to just go out there and grab a hold of these girls and they just can't get off of her. Her pressure, her grappling, she, she's like glue. She's like an anaconda on these girls. She's like a leech. And I think that her pressure, I think that she's just going to push Yan back. She's going to get a hold of her. And I really think that this fight, it's going to remind us all of Tyron Woodley versus Darren Till. Where Tyron Woodley was just, Darren looked so much bigger. I remember that face off. The night before the fight at the ceremonial weigh-ins where I was watching with my dad. And my dad and I were looking at it like, oh shit, Darren Till's big. We we're like, Tyron Woodley might be in a little bit of trouble here in this fight. And Tyron's like, no, hold my beer. He went out there and put on a relentless he he met Darren Till in the middle and just put Darren away. And I think that's the exact like thing that we're gonna see. We're gonna see Zhang Wei Li get a hold of Yan, and Yan's gonna realize like where she's at. Now, who knows? I could be wrong. She could just go out there, put on a great boxing performance, mix it up, throw good body shots. But I just don't see her pushing Zhang Wei Li back. I just don't see that happening. I just don't. So in this fight, I got Zhang by finish, first round, maybe second. That's just my prediction. That's just what I think. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Who do you guys have? Zhang Wei Li, Yan Yan Nan. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Title fight. UFC 300. Let's fucking go, fight fans. That's going to do it for today, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.